What's going on, my good people? DK Drama Bird Gang Sports. You already know what it is. So I'm brief, but we got a lot to discuss, man. I want to talk about um, you know, the Patriots situation coming up. We all know that it's about to be a, a dog fight. It's, about, it's, it's definitely going to be a dog fight. And I just want to touch bases with all my subscribers. If you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and sub it up, man. If you're an Eagles fan, sub it up, man. Like this, this is where we get it in. This is where we talk about. Our football team, the, the 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 rights and the wrongs, the good and the bad. We, we we talk about it all here. So with that being said, man, I just really want to touch bases on, you know, we got the Patriots, but ah, uh, like I said in my last video, we got to come up and get off early, early, like at least ten points in the first quarter. Uh, and you know, I see everybody talking now. Tom Brady, you know, he talking. He had his little interview and. He's still kind of pissed off. But, I mean, I, I mean, I guess anybody would be mad. You know, they lost in the Super Bowl. That's a devastating blow, especially being such an elite organization. You know, getting beat by an organization who has never done it before. So, I mean, it's a devastating blow, but it is what it is. NFC East, we, I, we just kind of got the Patriots number when it comes to the Super Bowl. You know, but um, it ain't really too much we, that I really can say. Um... We just got to play hard, man. We got to play hard. We got to do what we got to do. We got to execute. Because uh, right now, you know, I was watching Lil Bronson's video, and he he really brought it to our attention that, you know, if you think about it, uh, Carson Wentz has already thrown more touchdown passes than Tom Brady. And Tom Brady has better weapons than Carson Wentz. If you ask me, like, those guys – I mean, as of right now, because those guys are actually catching the ball, you know. So – you got better weapons than Carson Wentz, but Carson Wentz has more touchdown passes. I mean, that tells a whole other story, too. Like that, that tells you what type of quarterback Carson Wentz is. That, that lets you know that you know he, he really could get the job done, especially if he had uh, wide receivers out there that would you know catch those passes. Like the easy passes, the ones that come in right, they, they're coming straight to you. Not the hard ones, the clutch passes, the way you got to – Catch it before you go out of bounds and stuff like that. But in, 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 anyway, let's get to the running game, man, because that's what's really going to be a determining factor in this game is how well we can run this ball. Because, you know, the play action is really everything for us right now. Like, we need to run the ball. And I do believe that we got the guys that can do that. You know, I, I'm proud of Miles Sanders and how far he has come. And, yeah. Yep, definitely proud of Miles, man. Like, you know, it was rough for him at the beginning of the year, and a lot of guys was ready to bail out on him, you know, being that he was a rookie and, you know, he was dropping balls, he fumbled here and there, and it was devastating. It was very devastating. And then something happened. Something happened. We started giving Jordan Howard more chances with the Rock. And when you give a dude that's had, what, two years, uh, over 1,000 rushing yards, more chances with the ball, you don't lose that skill. You know, people suppress the skill when they don't give you the chances. So we continue, and we gave him the chances, and now our running game is just looking like that's what we have to do to these defensive teams that, that's trying to stop and know that they know what our wide receivers do. They know, like, lately they've been dropping balls, so they're going to contest everything we put up there just because of – what they've seen in, in previous history this season. Like, they're going to contest everything. So, you do that, you opening up very good lanes for us to run the ball. And the last couple of games, as you can see, that works for us. That really does work for us. So, we just got to punch these dudes in the mouth, man. That Smash my football. Punch them in the mouth and, and, and keep Tom Brady on his toes. Keep him on his toes because, you know, getting to him is going to be – a tall task. I'm not saying we got to sack this man, but I'm saying keep the pressure on him. Because even though he's Tom Brady, he's a great quarterback. You know, he's still a human being. So if he, he hear, feel, or even see that pressure coming, uh, he's going to make mistakes, man. He's going to make mistakes. Uh, he, like I said, he's a human being. He's going to make the mistakes. And we just got to be there to execute off of those mistakes after causing those mistakes. Because I do believe that our defense is powerful enough to break through and get to him at least enough to, you know, get him off of that edge, take him off of balance a little bit. Tom Brady is not a guy that 
Like he's not like the rest of the quarterbacks we that we've seen previously. Uh, he is a veteran and he does know what to do in a time of need and uh, when the guys are down or when it's looking down and out for his team, he knows how to get them back in the game. And we all know that fourth quarter, he is probably the most clutch quarterback. Even though stats doesn't say that this season, fourth quarter, Tom Brady, you can't play around with him. They will try to put the nail in the coffin on us if they already have us sitting in that coffin. Believe me, trust me. If you all been watching football, I'm sure you all see how it goes. We just got to beat him. Now, we, we beat him the last two times we've seen him. Um, besides the preseason game, that preseason game was just, uh, I guess that was Tom Brady just not, not, you know, not being over the fact that we beat him in the Super Bowl. So he tried to come out and do what he did in the preseason, but preseason doesn't count. Um, the last two regular games we've seen and we won. So, uh, can we keep it up and make it three hot in the regular season against the, uh, the New England Patriots? I do think we can do that, but like I said, we got to keep the pressure on them all day long. And watch Julian Edelman. Uh, Muhammad Sanu, you know, we know what Muhammad Sanu can do too. You know, we know what he did with Atlanta, but Julian Edelman, yo, this dude is a machine. This dude is unbelievable, like with his speed and everything. Like, we got to shut him down. <laughs> We're going to have to shut him down. We're going to have to shut that run game down, which I do believe our defense can do. But it's going to be a tall task, like I'm saying. It's going to be a tall task. Y'all let me know down below what you, what do y'all think we have to do in order to beat the Patriots, man. Because from now, from right now, what I think is, you know, we stop the run and we, we put a little pressure on Tom Brady. Well, a lot of pressure, not even a little, because a little is not enough for Brady. So we put a lot of pressure on him. Um, we get sacks if we can, but pressure is is the most important thing we need to worry about as of right now. Just getting to him, like uh, having him feel like we're getting to him, having him feel like he is about to get sacked. And then when that ball is in the air, we need these corners. Cravon, uh, somebody let me know if Cravon is coming back, man, because uh, I'm uh, like I thought he was supposed to be back last game, and I haven't I haven't seen him, man. And that's my guy, that's my dog for real, like. That's that's my guy, man. Like I like how he came back after the um the Saints game last year from getting blowed out in the uh in the playoffs, the very first game. I mean the very first play of the game, interception. You know, that just shows, you know, we can learn from our mistakes. Excuse me, I was looking at my window, I heard somebody out there was my son. But we can learn from our mistakes and correct them. Craven was the one to get the interception, the very first play of the game. So he learned fast. Very athletic. It was unfortunate he got hurt, but hopefully he's back, man, because he's a good addition to be in that uh that DB group and help us get those picks, man, after putting that pressure on Brady. So let me know down below what do y'all think we need to do in order to beat the New England Patriots, man. Like, just let me know, man. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe, man. Like, and I, for real, for real, the way I'm feeling – I just might go live tonight. I just might go live tonight. Uh, y'all let me know if y'all able to jump in the live, man. And uh, Because I'm ready to crank that back up, too. I'm ready to crank it back up. I know I said it a couple times, but I really do. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to crank it up. So I missed y'all, man. It's been a while. I missed y'all. And we got to sit down and talk about a lot of things. We got a lot to discuss. This your boy, DK Drama Bird Gang Sports, saying we out.